Hi, my name is Daniel Clark, and today I'm going to be showing you how to deposit USDC or any other ERC20 token from a user's wallet into your smart contract. So let's get started. What we're going to want to do to start this off is I'm going to be adapting some code from DAP University. So we're just going to paste that in here. I'll have this in a uh, GitHub link in the description below. So I'm gonna go over what all of this does. So first we're gonna to interface to the USDC smart contract. So we're gonna be able to get the total supply. Some of this isn't needed. Uh, the balance of the user, what they have uh, in their wallet, the allowance that is given to our smart contract, a transfer function that will allow us to transfer USDC out of the smart contract an approve function which is actually not going to be used in this and a transfer from function so now uh, ignore these events for now they don't really affect anything in here this is just a standard interface that I grabbed uh, off the internet <clears throat> next we're going to go down to our contract which is going to be called transfer test so we are going to give the usdc interface the uh, usd smart contract address so that'll also be down here in the constructor we're going to take that usd lowercase c and uh, make it equal to the USDC interface and then point it to the smart contracts address. So this is on the uh, Mumbai testnet for Polygon. Next, we're gonna make our address that we're submitting this with the owner of the contract. And then we're gonna get right into the functions. So we're gonna start off with deposit tokens. This is going to, uh, this is gonna be our input here so the user will put how much they want to deposit and i'm actually going to edit this so we're going to multiply this number by 10 and then two multiplication symbols is going to be to the power of and for usdc is six decimal places so the user can put in their number in actual usd what they're actually thinking so on the other side to do this, we're gonna need to approve the transaction. Now, this is not done through this smart contract. This is actually gonna be done through the USDC smart contract. So let's go and see that now. Let me just get in that. Okay, so I have some USDC, some test USDC from uh, the Aave testnet. And we're gonna go over here to Polygon Scan and go to the contract and we're gonna to go to Write Contract. So in your application, you're gonna actually need to call to this, um, you're gonna to need to call to this contract. So we're gonna to need to first approve. So when you approve, you're gonna to need to approve with the original smart contract. So, once we uh, get this, po uh, this contract uh, uploaded onto the blockchain, so this is obviously just the inverse of this. So we're going to compile this. We're actually gonna get an error, which, oh yes, I need to edit this, which is gonna be USDC, and then it's gonna be, times 10 to the sixth power. And it's this is not working because that's not a capital letter. There we go. Okay, right. We're obviously, we're taking this from the input that we had right here. So this is the user's input. So now we can compile this contract and we're still getting the error, which is because because I dragged that over. There we go. Now we can compile this contract and we got the green check mark. <laughs> I 
I knew I was not crazy. All right, so now we're gonna put this into, we're gonna go down to this tab and we are going to, I'm gonna assume that you understand Remix uh, slightly and we're gonna go down to Injected Web 3. If that will go over to Injected Web 3. Let me just give this a refresh real quick. And we're gonna go over to test. Okay, compile that and injected web three. It's gonna work this time and it's giving us our smart contract, or I'm sorry, our wallet with the testmatic. Now we're gonna go over to contract and transfer test and then we're gonna deploy this. And we're gonna confirm that, and this should take a few seconds and then get deployed onto the blockchain. There we are, perfect. Okay. Now, we're gonna go over to the USDC smart contract. So, on the front end, you'll call this contract first to do your approval. So we'll also grab our contract's address and we're gonna paste that in here. And then we're going to approve it for the amount of, let's say 35, and then we're gonna add six decimal places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that should be 35 USDC. Now we're going to write this. This is going to give the smart contract permission to access your USDC and confirm that. And then we'll wait for that to go through. Okay, so now that that approval has gone through and I switched my camera over, we'll be able to deposit tokens onto our smart contract now. So we're gonna put in 35 here and click on deposit. And then we're gonna be able to approve that now and send that over. Should only take a couple seconds here, and then these tokens will be deposited onto our smart contract. And we should see 35 disappear here. Right. There it is. Yep. So we just sent that over, and it went down to 9,438 USDC. Now, once we want to take those tokens off of the platform, actually, first, let's look at our balance. So I'm going to copy our, uh, our address here, paste it, and then we can get the staking balance of $35 off of this contract. You can actually check the contract with this button. And now, say we want to take everything off of the platform, we can click Unstake Tokens, and then just confirm that and I will show you that happening live right here. So 9,438 and 9,473 once we've taken those back. So yeah, so that's how you do, that's how you transfer your tokens into a smart contract. I had a lot of issues with this for a while, not understanding that you needed to actually approve it with the original contract, approve your smart contract with the original token contract. I felt like that wasn't something that was described really anywhere else except on some forms. So if this helped you, please leave a like, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And You'll get more great content like this going over Solidity and uh, DeFi projects in general. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.